Kevin Roach is an all-round person. A good family man, community man. He has very, very high standards. He's a natural leader. Kevin is very confident, competent, knowledgeable, and when he speaks, people listen. He just goes on and deals with the issues and gets it done. When I think of the offshore, then I think of Kevin. Okay, he's one of the faces that's associated with it. He's one of the people, he's one of the pillars. I'm Kevin Roach. I'm from uh, Logie Bay, Newfoundland. Uh, I've been in the industry for 34 years, just retired in 2011. I had one of those uh, life-changing moments in, in a career day at Gonzaga many years ago where the school counselor asked me what I wanted to do and I told him I really enjoyed working with my hands and mechanics so I thought I was going to be a mechanic. And, and He tore into me in a big way and said that uh, your marks are pretty good why don't you look a little higher? There are a few people within this community that I would consider to be you know, the foundation blocks of this industry, and Kevin Roach is definitely one of those. We went to First Oil in 97 with Hibernia. Pre-oil, Kevin was involved through Noble Drilling and stayed with that project until 2011, 2012. When we started that project in 1994, there was a lot of uh, skeptics who didn't think we could uh, handle the challenge. There was always a little bit of self-doubt amongst the community at large as to whether or not we were actually going to see something develop into an industry. But we were lucky in that there was a lot of Newfoundlanders who, uh, who had passed through the East Coast area and that I was familiar with who were at the time uh, traveling abroad or working abroad and we managed to attract them to come back and help us get the startup going. I worked and lived out of the Middle East for a number of years. And one of the things that drew me back to this here was a conversation that I had with Kevin that opened a door that I could go and do whatever I wanted. It was totally up to me. Noble Drilling had 100% Newfoundland content for their employees. And so many people out there locally in our industry, but also globally, have uh, credit, Kevin Roach to credit for their careers. The tow out was a, was a great day because uh, it represented the, uh, the end to uh, the first phase of our project. And the first phase of the project was getting everybody ready. Uh, but it signaled now the beginning of the real task, which was to execute the plan and to try to do that safely with new crews, using new equipment on a greenfield location with new management team and uh, a, lot of risk, a lot of risk there for, for getting people hurt. While he was running a multi-million dollar business, sat on committee after committee after committee, mostly focused on safety. There's no job that important that it can't be done safely. That just wasn't talk. That was reality. You, you didn't have to wonder whether or not Kevin was going to back you up if you stopped a job or shut down the operation because things were unsafe. That, that was the expectation. I've experienced uh, firsthand the Ocean Ranger devastation. You know, my wife's uh, young or older brother uh, died on the Ocean Ranger, and, and that was a traumatic experience for for us as a family and for 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 the community, really. So it, it always has had a lasting impression on me. I think there's an ad that was on TV some years ago about an investment broker. The broker walks into a very crowded room. The client asks him a question. The room, as he begins to speak, the room goes quiet. Everybody's listening. Well, that's how I would describe Kevin. You knew that he had done all his homework, that he had all the data, he had all the research, and probably had the answer, but he was very open to listening to other perspectives, other views, other suggestions. My advice to people would be to uh, uh, set your goals high and don't ever underestimate your ability. And don't and let anybody tell you that somebody else is going to uh, knows better than you because uh, uh, that's just to get, enough to get your back up and say I'm going to do it anyway. He's the first person I ever saw give a PowerPoint presentation at a parent committee meeting in school. Kevin Roach uh, is a very uh, caring individual, very generous individual. And at one point in my career I had the uh, life experience of having a, a health scare. Unexpectedly, he dropped into my office just to talk me through it. 
I was able to uh, carry my way through that scare with a lot more confidence uh, than I would have had and feeling okay that this is part of life. When he spoke to you, he spoke to you on a personal level, right? You know, he, he didn't speak to you on a level that, that was made you feel like you were lower or d in, a, in a demeaning way at all. You know, it was, uh, from, from a leadership perspective, he spoke to you with a personal touch. Kevin Roach is a very serious person. He's a very somber, quiet, steadfast individual until you put a dress on him or a, a hood over his head or put a microphone in front of him and put his boots on and he's a, an absolutely fantastic mummer. He knows how to play, he knows how to take a joke, he knows how to give a joke, he knows, uh, knows how to sing. He has a wonderful baritone voice that his Irish roots come up through. Um, he's also humble about that. You have to get him in the right place at the right time. Um, but if you do, he will sing. And my personal favorite is his rendition of Sarah. He's a fabulous uh, person all around. I, I would consider my biggest accomplishment uh, was assisting the Hibernia Project in becoming a very successful model that's, uh, that people are aware of here, certainly, but also around the world. When I heard he was getting the award, I sent him an email immediately. And I said, Kevin, this is more than well deserved. Congratulations, Kevin and Dolores. I'm really pleased to be part of this recognition. You've given a whole lot to this industry and our province, and I'm really happy to be part of the recognition and the appreciation for it. I'm privileged and humbled to be able to be the one that says, or be part of the people that says, thanks for all your efforts, and again, thanks for being there when there are times I need advice and guidance along the way. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say congratulations on this achievement and I can't think of anyone better to receive this award. Libby and I want to congratulate you and Dolores uh, and your family for this recognition and award. It is more than well deserved. So have a good evening. Unfortunately, I won't be there, but um, I'll be thinking of you. Maybe I'll have a glass in your honor and I'm wearing my Guinness necktie just because. See you, bud.